Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster. This is the fourth of several episodes outlining a complete workflow for uh, Red and your Avid editing application. Now this week we'll conform a sequence that was offline edited in Avid to Apple's color for grading. It's a pretty straightforward process that was developed by Jürgen Persson, uh, the creator of CineXML, which is a great tool for onlining red material. So do check out his website at avocoda.com. Now here we have our nice sequence that you know from past episodes, and we want to send that to Apple's color to grade the hell out of it, if it doesn't crash on us. Hmm. So what we do is we create a new bin, call that color, because we are very, very original. Duplicate our sequence. Drag that over there. And now we set the bin display to show the reference clips. Now we see all the footage clips that are contained within the sequence. All six of them. Now the next step is crucial. We have to get the red file names into the name column here. The actual red file names. Now I have changed those names to, you know, more reasonable explanations of what is actually can be seen in the footage. And you probably have too. So if you did not ingest your footage, your red footage with Metafuse, you can just duplicate the tape column over to the name column. Now I have ingested with Metafuse, so I'll use the cam roll column instead. Now I just select the cam roll column and hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC and duplicate that to the name column. There it is. Hit OK. Yes, do it, do it. All right, now we're done in, in Media Composer, open EDL Manager and say file, open, open the bin that contains your sequence. Make sure that the EDL type is CMX3600 and edit the EDL settings so that the comments are the clip names because color will fall back on the comments if it doesn't see the red file name in the clip name. So um, make sure to select that and nothing else. Okay, hit update if you have to. And save the EDL. Now, all you have to do is open color. Create a new project. Go to File and hit Import EDL. Go to the place that you saved your EDL to. Open it. There it is, CMX 3600. That's the right EDL format. Project frame rate is totally wrong was 25 EDL frame rate as well and also the source frame rate it's all 25 frames for my sequence anyway. Now I had a 2 by 1 aspect ratio so I'll do it as red 2k. Now this is color 1 so it only does 2k. I think the newest color version does 4k as well. Not absolutely positive on that but I'm pretty sure it does so but I, I'll have to go 2k. Now browse to the directory where your original R3D files are situated and hit import. And it imports it all. And it is all there. You can just start working away. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Cool. So, all right, thanks for watching this episode of the Epic Screencast. If you'd like, 
go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. We can also watch back episodes or subscribe on the iTunes store. And if you have any comments or suggestions, like future show topics or anything, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. And don't forget to follow me on the Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and also at facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you'd like to see what kind of things I do professionally, check out editguy.de. All right, once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.